Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Repenting. The Cobra 3 has a new firmware update. Let's scratch to this topic. Like I said, the Cobra 3 has a new firmware update and the Ace Pro 2 has a new update. Let's not waste any time and let's take a look at it right now. I cannot find this anywhere. All that I know is that it pops up on the Cobra 3 screen and prompts you to update or not update. And just like two hours ago right now, Anycubic emailed me this firmware update. I'm not sure for you, but maybe they also emailed you about this. At least we now know what they have updated to the new firmware. So let's just go right into it. The first thing here is the camera LED light switch. So as you know, back when Anycubic launched the Cobra 3, if you buy an early bird on their websites, you will get a free camera for your Cobra 3, which is the one right here. And I'll show you right here. This is the camera that Anycubic is making updates to. As you can see here, these are LED flashlights and that's the camera. But there's no way to turn this on. There's no on off button on the screen of the Cobra 3 or anywhere on any cubic slicer snacks and back then I emailed any cubic and they respond to me that these are LED lights but it's coming later in the future when they update everything and make these lights work and right now it works a new independent toggle switch has been added to the firmware UI and the Anycubic app. Nice. Allowing you to turn the camera LED on off. This feature is only available for cameras purchased directly from Anycubic. So what if we buy it from Amazon or eBay and it's still the same LED exact same one? What would it work? Okay, number two, M601 command support. The firmware now supports the M601 command, which allows the printer to automatically pause when the specific height is reached, as in indicated by the command in your slicing software. So this is like a pause command. You just want to pause at a certain height because maybe you're inserting a magnet in there. You can now do that. Number three, preheat during remote test sending. When sending a test remotely, the printer will preheat during the file download, reducing the startup time for printing. That is amazing. I like it. Sometimes if you send a big file, it just take a long time to do it. So now it's preheating while you are setting the file. Number four, hot and cooling during pause. During pause print, the hot and temperature will automatically decrease to 140C, reducing the risk of filament leakage and preventing clog due to prolonged high temperatures. Nice. This is really nice. Number five, optimized video functions. The video playback smoothness has been improved for a better user experience. Nice. Number six, enhanced print protection. Additionally, print protection features have been added to safeguard the print in more unusual scenarios. Okay, pretty good. More protections means that your 3D printers won't break in on unusual scenarios. So for the Ace Pro printer, wait, Ace Pro printer. So for the Ace Pro, Firmware update number one, improve filament entry. The smoothness of filament entry has been enhanced for better overall printing performance. And the Cubic needs to improve the Ace Pro a lot more because for my, the first slot keeps making this clicking noise when retracting. And sometimes it does kind of have trouble extruding the filament into the back of the Ace Pro and into the printhead. So hopefully this firmware update will help the ace pro become so much more smoother and so much better any quick please keep sending out these emails for the firmware updates and or just put it on your websites that'll be so much easy to access okay before this next part i took my hot end off removing a clog trying to unscrew this nozzle and i broke it because of the new glue that they use the nozzle is very stuck in there so if you put force into it your nozzle is gonna break. So now I have to get a new heat blocks and you are getting a sneak peek of the future videos. But I was gonna update the Cobra 3 and it does not allow me to update if I don't have this plugin. Firmware update, you can't really see anything. But hey, let's just confirm. Hopefully it does not home or anything. Oh, okay, so it looks like that was just for the Ace Pro. It's not for the Cobra 3. So let's see, where is it now? So where you wanna go is go to setting, about machine, Printer information, and then you will get the new update, which we can even scroll down. Hopefully, it does not home the 3D printer. There we go. It has finished installed the new latest firmware. So let's see, can we access the camera from here? Print setting, camera light. <gasps> Look at that. I think it was on before I even checked the setting, but oh my gosh, off, on. Wow. I have no idea how and or why it took them that long just to add the light. What? Looks so cool. It's so bright. 
Whoa, look at that. Okay, let's see it from here. The camera. Let's click play. And yeah, it's just it's just like that, but it has the light. Wow. So if you're printing at night, it's gonna be so much better. The frame rate, I think it's pretty similar to what it was. So is there a way we can turn off the camera in here? I don't see a way of doing that. Turn off the light. It's pretty dark. Turn on the light. Look at that, it focuses too, which is nice. Well, there you have it. The new firmware update from Anycubic to the Cobra 3 and the Ace. I feel like this firmware update is pretty nice and lots of new features that we are able to play with and or have for the benefit of 3D printing and the benefit of the Cobra 3. I wish I can show you more with the new firmware updates, like just, you know, using all the commands and just stuff like that. But like I just showed you, my hardened nozzle broke off, so... I gotta wait for a replacement on that and the replacement is already on its way to me and yeah that's the new firmware update for the Cobra 3 let me know in the comments down below have you found this on anywhere on any Cubix website or something like that or they just email you and if you did download and use the firmware is it working properly now is it nice is it like having problems like that leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and if you need some batteries Check out my store in the description down below or right here and go get yourself some lithium ion battery pack built here and very high quality. I love making these battery and using them is amazing. The quality, the power and long lasting time of these batteries is just amazing. And as always, keep on 3D printing.